Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. Let's go straight to photos because I've got a lot of them on here. Some of the things like the uh, garden tour, by the time you see this, uh, I hope I'll be putting pictures up next week on, on the garden tour, but uh, too late to promote it today, but I had to be reminded, even mention it. Uh, and the wildlife habitat thing is uh, on June the 1st, That's, that'll still be coming up, I believe. So hope you'll come out to that celebration. It's free and it'll be a lot of fun with uh, Still on the Hill and Emily Cates both playing. Okay, this is from the so-called Block Street Block Party. Well, you'll see I've got a street sign saying uh, that uh, the, there, there's the uh, dunk tank. The city council members were included on that list with some other folks. And you know what, I kept walking the street and there it was there at the exact time when one of them showed up to get it done. Yeah, there it is, Block Avenue. I, uh, the reason I dislike that so much is over the years, uh, as a newspaper copy editor, frequently had to correct uh, copy because uh, reporters would get confused about the subject even. Uh, in Fayetteville, avenues run north and south. In Springdale, avenues run east and west. And north and south is uh, mostly worldwide uh, the right way to do an avenue. Anyhow, you see a lot of dogs in here. Uh, that's uh, the uh, uh, Sunday photos and people. And that's a young man I know pretty well. He's a very nice young man that I talk to wherever I see him. And uh, there's a lady uh, sitting in a rocking chair, chair under the terry tots uh, <laughs> shelter. Uh, the the Geritot's uh, activities had mostly ended, but uh, she and her baby were enjoying the shade. That was a nice thing. And I thought they were a nice picture. I don't know their names, but uh, they were happy to be photographed. Of course, if you're that young, you don't mind always being photographed. Okay, we've got a couple of people who presented at the well, that's Kathy, uh, Katie T on the left, and uh, uh, Mr. Marak, who was, has been the uh, chairman of the uh, Flower Garden Nature Society. That's Mary Bess Mulholland and Mr. Mulholland. They're the parents of Kelly Mulholland of Still on the Hill, who will be playing on the uh, uh, 1st of June. Many places he and Donna play every week. But anyway, they'll be at the celebration at Gully Park of the Wildlife Habitat. Okay, campaign season started, and there you see Larry Delashbit, uh, a pretty good campaigner for, for candidates in the past year. And, and uh, um, I have a lot of friends in, in at least three to no, four parties here who campaign uh, regularly. And that's uh, on the, uh, oh, there's bad news in this thing found. Well, good news, the Ivory Bill Wolfpecker lives in the big woods of Arkansas. Bad news is that still hasn't been confirmed, so that t-shirt's several years old. There's a man whose brother was a professional baseball player, and uh, his dad liked baseball so much that uh, his name was Babe. He said he never got to go to the pros, though. And Project Right Choice, well, I was there in Somebody's in the background. Oh, I think that's a mirror. <laughs> that's the window of the, the RMS Bank. And anyway, they were uh, giving out free sandwiches to get people to, uh, I think Tyson donated to that. The RMS provided the space and the cooker to raise money for, to fight drug use. This lady is wearing, and this little girl is wearing on her arm, a couple of these uh, parrot species, or parakeet, uh, in between size birds, that uh, they wouldn't talk to me, those birds wouldn't, but I think that they're being trained to be therapy birds. You've heard of therapy dogs, but, uh, and other animals that are, are used to uh, help in uh, people who have disabilities. Wes's barbecue, this is the good news, this isn't an ad for them, it's correction of fact that uh, got rumor that was spread uh, that it had burned up, but it has not burned up. It simply had a small related fire 
and it is back in business, still in business. And so uh, a lot of people were telling me it was, oh, it had a terrible fire. So I went down and checked it out, and it had been on TV the night before. And, and, uh, and maybe, in, I don't know where else it was published, but it, it, it was not as bad as thought. I hate it when anybody loses any property to a fire. Until next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See you.